Hey everyone, Dr. Shaw here with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Today I want to talk to you about migraines. So I'm sure everyone knows what a migraine is. Maybe you don't know all the symptoms that could, that could go with the migraine. So everyone knows that the migraine is severe headache, right? But a lot of times these people experience things called auras, which are visual disturbances, okay? A lot of times people experience light sensitivity, sound sensitivity. So bright lights, loud noises really, really bother them. People have vertigo attacks. People get nauseous. They throw up. It's a really, really debilitating condition. And the worst part about this is most people who suffer from migraines suffer from them on a day-to-day -day basis. And unfortunately, the health community doesn't really know how to treat these migraines. A lot of times painkillers are involved, even anti-anxiety and antidepressants to try to uh, better deal with this vertigo attack. So, what can we do with upper cervical care to help these people with migraines? Because we see migraines every single day and people who deal with migraines in our office, they are gone fairly quick. So let's talk about what happens between the brain and the heart and why the migraines happen. So in a normal human being, what happens is, is the brain needs oxygen constantly, right? However, when it's not getting enough oxygen, it tells the heart, hey, I need more oxygen, so you need to pump more blood up to me. Now the brain controls every blood vessel in our body. It tells our arteries when to dilate and when to constrict or open and close, right? So normally when the heart's pumping more blood up to the brain so the brain can get this oxygen, the brain tells the blood vessels to dilate, the blood gets up to the brain and everything's good, right? However, when people suffer from migraines, the brain isn't communicating to the body like it should, and that includes blood vessels like the arteries, okay? So now when this heart is pumping blood up to the brain, and the brain isn't controlling the dilation of the arteries, now those arteries stay constricted, you have all this blood pumping up against the arteries, which causes inflammation and irritation of those arteries. And on top of that, the brain's still not getting enough oxygen, and so that's what includes the auras, the light sensitivity, sound sensitivity, you start to get nauseous, all because the brain isn't getting enough oxygen. So that's how migraines work. That's why in upper cervical care, we see unbelievable results with migraine relief because we can take pressure from the atlas bone off of the brain stem and allow the brain to communicate with the heart like it should allowing those blood vessels to dilate, get the, heart, or get the blood back up to the brain, and everything works just like it should without any neurological issues and without any pain.